<coughs> good morning friends today i am giving a lecture on all pair shortest path problem in dynamic programming so all pair shortest path problem is one of the application of dynamic programming so what is the main objective of dynamic programming the main objective of dynamic programming is we have to obtain the optimal solution by using the principle called principle of optimality so what is principle of optimality suppose we have to find out the solution of a given problem so we have to find out the optimal solution of a given problem so the given problem is divided into some sub problems so each and every sub problem can be solved in optimal way then we have to find out the optimal solution for the original problems that means if the sub problems are optimal so the sum of solutions of the sub problems are also the solution of the original problem so so principle of optimality holds so the main objective of all pair shortest path problem is we have to find out the shortest distance between every pair of vertices for the given graph suppose let g is equal to v comma e where v is the set of vertices and e is the set of edges so for the given graph first we have to construct the adjacency matrix for the given graph so how to how to find out the adjacency matrix for the given graph can be calculated by using the following formula if c of i comma j is equal to if i equal to equal to j so its a cost value is equal to 0 if i comma j belongs to capital e of g its a cost is its a cij value if i comma j not belongs to capital e of g so its cost value is infinity so by using these three rules first we have to find out the adjacency matrix so for example this one so cost of i comma j is equal to if i equal to equal to j i is nothing but first coordinate j is nothing but second coordinate so this is i represents the row value and j represents the column value both row value is equal to is equal to column value its cost value is equal to zero suppose i comma j is an edge that edge present in the given graph that is i comma j belongs to e of g its value is cij what is the cost uh, what is the cost of the edge that cost is cij if i comma j is an edge in the given graph next suppose there is no direct edge between i and j so that is i comma j not belongs to e of j so its value can be denoted as infinity so if there is no direct edge between i and j its value its value can be denoted by infinity if there is a direct edge between i and j its value is a cij if there is no direct edge between i and j its value can be denoted by infinity so by using these three rules we have to find out the adjacent cost adjacency matrix for the given graph next after constructing the adjacency matrix for the given graph how to find out the minimum shortest distance between every pair of vertices in the given graph so that can be calculated by using the following formula so this is the formula a power k i comma j is the length of the shortest path 
from i to j going through no vertex of index greater than k then a power k i comma j is equal to minimum of a power k minus 1 i comma j comma a power k minus 1 i comma k plus a power k minus 1 k comma j where k greater than or equal to 1. So how suppose we have to find out the shortest distance between j i and j. We have to find out the shortest distance between i and j. So i is the one vertex, j is another vertex in the given graph. So our main objective is we have to find out the shortest distance between i and j. So this can be calculated by dividing this path into two subpaths by inserting the intermediate vertex k. So that is intermediate vertex is k. So now we have to find out the shortest distance between i to k. Next we have to find out the shortest distance between k to j. So then this is a subpath 1, this is a subpath 2. So we have to first find out the shortest distance between i to k. Next we have to find out the shortest distance between k to j. So this is, that means our original problem can be divided into two sub problems. Our original problem is we have to find out the shortest distance between i and j. So this problem can be divided into two sub problems by inserting the intermediate vertex k. So then this problem can be divided into two sub problems. The first sub problem is we have to find out the shortest distance between i and k. The second sub problem is we have to find out the shortest distance between k and j. Okay. So, so this is minimum of a power k minus 1 i comma j. So this is the original problem. We have to find out the shortest distance between i and j comma. So this is the first sub problem and this is the second sub problem. So Find out the shortest distance between i and k. Shortest distance between i and k. The second sub problem is we have to find out the shortest distance between k and j. So sum of the solutions of the two sub problems. This is shortest distance between the original problem. Among them which is minimal. So that value can be taken as a power k i comma j where k is the intermediate vertex i and j are the two vertices in the given graph so we have to find out the shortest distance between i and j so this problem can be solved by using principle of optimality so by inserting the intermediate vertex k so again this problem can be divided into two sub problems so that is i to k sub problem and k to j sub problems. So sum of the solutions of the sub problems is equal to so solution to the original problem. So this is the original problem and this is the sum of the solutions of the two sub problems. Among them which is minimal. So this is the shortest distance between i and j. Thank you.